We all know how important it is to have friends. I mean, if you need some video taken, a friend with a really good camera might just get elevated to BFF status. But now when it comes to shooting action video, there's an invention that might just replace your camera pointing bestie. Well, you can still use that friend to edit the video. Here's Adam Yamaguchi. In this selfie world we live in, capturing cool video of yourself can be challenging. Who's going to operate the camera? Does that person even know what they're doing? And how come the video's blurry? What if there was a device that you could set up, walk away from, and trust that the camera would follow your every move, keeping you perfectly centered and in focus? A guy named Chris Boyle had the very same idea, so he went out and created the solo shot. I headed south to San Antonio, Texas to check out the solo shot camera for myself. The customer can put whatever camera they want on top. They wear a special tag on their arm and the tag communicates to the base and then solo shot will automatically pan tilt it'll tell the camera to zoom in zoom out you can start and stop recording so basically you can go 2,000 feet away and solo shot will keep you in the frame this little company builds 100 solo shot cameras by hand every day and ships them all over the world I originally came up with the idea for solo shot surfing I'd seen a picture of a wave in a book I said, I have to find out where that is. And I found the house where they took the photo from, and I set a camera on the balcony, zoomed it in on the wave and hit record, and then just ran downstairs and went for a surf. When I came back and looked at the footage, it just kind of hit me like, if I could make this camera know who I was and just even just move just a little bit, the footage would be amazing. And if that product didn't exist, then I was going to make it. Luckily, Chris has a background in engineering more more and put together a team to build the first solo shot including a NASA robotics engineer. Our first prototype was a lot of parts hacked together. All the code was running on a laptop, but it proved that it was possible, that we were able to automatically keep a camera pointed at a surfer. The key innovation was creating an electronic tag you wear so the solo shot can identify you and give you control over the device. Chris took me to a wakeboard water park in the middle of Texas to put the solo shot to the test. Walk me through this. This is the tag. This is the tag. It communicates to the antenna on the base. You just wear this on your arm. It's waterproof, shockproof. And now you can actually control the camera from here. You can start and stop recording either by tapping the tag that can send a highlight command or you can press the button. So I just set up my tripod and camera, and I can walk away and just control everything from here. Want to try it? Yeah. So if I start moving erratically, it's a pretty fast response. It's up to 80 degrees per second in panning speed. So we've been able to track race cars going 140 miles an hour to if you have a child on a soccer field walking very slowly 1,000 feet away. Like its name implies, Solo Shot lets you capture the video you want by yourself. But it can't do everything a pro can do. I just want to state definitively that Solo Shot is not here to replace the professional cameraman. It's only here for guys like me who can't afford or don't know a professional cameraman and want to capture moments in their life.